Hi, I'm Frank from Poland. And I'm Max from Australia. Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Antonio Oribe, también conocido como Fire. Hola, buenas. Soy José Ramón García, eh, también conocido como Viviki. And together, for the last two years, we've been making Arco, an adventure game with a new take on a turn-based combat. Y en el proyecto de Arco, ayudé como soporte en programación, game design y en escribir también. Y soy el compositor y diseñador sonoro de Arco. The story in Arco follows characters from various tribes that find a common enemy in the Red Company, an organization that's killing the land and its people. Each character has to decide how far they will go to achieve their goal and what can be justified in the name of the greater good, revenge, or glory. I like to think Arco isn't just about each character that you play as, but rather about the world itself. To achieve their goals, characters journey through varied and vast landscapes, learn powerful magic, explore winding dungeons, make deals with demons, and fight deadly battles. Arco blends elements of Western genre with magical realism. You'll be presented with choices throughout the game, for which there isn't always a clear answer. This feeds into Arco's guild system, which represents the decline in characters' mental and emotional well-being as their quest presses them to make choices in different shades of grey. If you need an important item from someone, for example, you can choose to do something they ask of you, or you can simply choose to kill them and take it. Those choices will come back to haunt you, though, as guilt manifests as angry spirits during combat. The combat system offers a twist on a turn-based tactics. You can see the enemy's expected moves and plan all your actions accordingly. Everything then results in real time. This means that you get some breathing room, even in messy combat situations. Each party member and enemy has different abilities, so there are strengths and weaknesses to play to and exploit. I love where we're at with how the game looks and sounds. Jose poured his heart and soul into the soundtrack. It's more extensive than for any other title I've worked on. It's like 90% of the file size at this point. Yeah, the amount of quality music is actually insane. It gave me additional motivation to keep the art quality up to par. The pixel art has also been a huge undertaking. Every location is its own canvas. Every encounter is its own canvas. All painstakingly detailed by Frenic. Sometimes a bit too detailed. That said, developing the visual side of Arco was extremely fun. Designing the architecture for each nation, thinking about the various flora growing in each biome, animals inhabiting the world, or any other little details, was a blast to work with, and hopefully that translates to your experience when you play it. Arco will be available on PC early next year. Please wishlist it on Steam and keep an eye on our social channels for news and updates. Espero lo disfruten. Thanks heaps for checking it out. Ciao. Ciao.